Hi, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Bex. I'm mum to Finley, who's 11 months old, and I make videos about parenting, lifestyle, and motherhood after infertility. And this is my first Mother Booker's book review. Um, I'm gonna try and do one of these every month, and I can't lay claim to the amazing hashtag. Um, I did see Rachel Brady, another vlogger, use this hashtag, but it was for an online book group, and, um, I don't believe that that book group seems to be happening anymore so I just thought I would use this hashtag for monthly book reviews and if any other vloggers would like to sort of join me in using the hashtag get in contact and we can maybe collaborate. So today's book review is on the Danish way of parenting. I absolutely loved this book and I read it sort of in the autumn last year um, when Finley was a lot smaller and I've reread it a couple of times since then and I just think it's such a thought-provoking and profound book um, it's definitely changed my views on the way I want to bring up Finley. So the premise of the book is that Denmark is known to top the World Happiness Report polls and is seen to be one of the happiest countries in the world. Focuses on why Denmark seems to be the happiest country in the world and how they raise happy, confident, successful children. And so it focuses on six essential principles and they are used with the acronym PARENT. So P is for play, which is seen as essential for development and well-being. A is for authenticity which looks at how trust is fostered and creates a sense of a person's inner compass. R is for reframing, which looks at how children can reframe situations to help them cope with setbacks. E is for empathy, which looks at how we bring children up to have kindness um, and empathy towards each other and to other people in general. N is for no ultimatums, um, which I think is going to be quite tricky when their uh, friend gets to the sort of toddler and teenager years. And T finally is togetherness or Hugo. There was a massive craze for Hugo, I think it was last year or the year before. And they'd bought the little book of Hugo um, a few months before, it seems to just be everywhere. And that sort of set me on my sort of Scandi journey really. So why do I think this book is great? I think it's really well researched and I like that in a book. Um, it's well written and I like how it's sort of structured into these sort of six elements. I think if you're into the idea of gentle parenting then this is sort of the approach that the Danish way of parenting takes really. I hadn't realised before I read the book how central play is to everything really with bringing up children. Obviously we all know that children should play but beyond sort of structured play there is this thought that free play and letting children just dive into their own imaginations completely um, unaided by parents enables children to learn sort of negotiation skills, coping skills and creativity that that's what you're looking for when they sort of grow up into well-rounded adults. I think it's really interesting that Lego was invented by a Danish carpenter and the world's leading um, playground equipment specialist, Compan, is also a Danish company. So I think it's of no surprise really that Denmark um, has produced two world leaders in the field of play and how central it is really to, to life in general in Denmark. So there are a couple of sort of areas of the book that I thought I would read out that I thought really hit home for me and made me consider how I want to start parent friendly. Okay, so this is a bit on parenting with authenticity. Self-deception is confusing because it makes us ignore our real feelings and can cause us to make choices based on external influences rather than our own authentic desires. This leads us down paths to places we don't actually want to be in life. And that is how we end up unhappy. And it's that moment that many people look at their lives and say, hold on, is this what I really wanted? Or is this what I thought I was supposed to want? Uh, and that really just sort of hit home for me and made me consider my own life really and take stock of it and consider how I want to sort of 
have my parenting journey and how me and Dan as a team bring Finley up. What I also really like about the book is that the end of the book, um, to sort of sum up all the different strands that have been looked at, is what's called the Hugo Oath. And it suggests that it's like a, a, a promise that the family looks at trying to keep together. So some of these, for example, are we agree to spend Sunday dinner in Hugo. We are promised to help one another as a team in creating a cozy atmosphere where everyone feels safe and no one needs to have their guard up. And I like that it says we all promise to help one another as a team, which suggests you know, there is no one person that's responsibility is for the tidying up, that everybody is part of that team and contribute something to try and create a nice cosy atmosphere in the house. We agreed to turn off the phones and the iPads, something that I think is really important these days, particularly with children and mental health and social media. I do worry for the sort of world that Finn is going to grow up in sometimes with just the strong link it seems between um, self-esteem, mental health and a social media sort of revolution that seems to just cause us all, I think, to not switch off. And I think it's really important to bring Finley up in an environment where we lead by example. So it's something I need to look at myself. And to play games that the whole group can participate in and to make a conscious effort to feel gratitude for the people around us who love us. So I don't think any of the things in the Hugo Oath are sort of groundbreaking ideas, but I think they're actually quite difficult to stick to on a regular basis. I think that's what set me the challenge to try and create a family environment that does do that. So without feeling like I'm waffling anymore, I would definitely recommend that you buy this. It's by Jessica Joel Alexander, and I don't know if I'm pronouncing this name right, but Ivan Dissing Sandal. I'll leave a link in the description box if you want to look at buying it. I am not sponsored in any way by any affiliate links. I'm just a mum who's recommending this book. So, if there are any other vloggers that want to take part in the Mother Bookers hashtag, then please contact me using the details in the description box, and I'll see you in the next video. Okay, bye.